Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Microsoft Flight Simulator and today we are going to be flying in what is not the greatest of weather but we're going to be taking our Mooney out. We're going to be flying from Tucson International over to Ryan Airfield picking up some supplies and taking them down to Nogales, Arizona. Um, the supplies are urgent and we have to make sure that we uh, get them uh, on time so it's going to be sort of uh, interesting seeing what the weather does the weather is not great we got some pretty high gusting winds and a good storm rolling in so we're going to try to get out of here hopefully before we get trapped so let's get on with the show All right, now first thing we need to do is obviously set our center of gravity on the arm here. It looks like we're actually pretty good. Um, we can pull this back just a little bit. Oop, wrong direction. Now let's go forward here, just a hair. There we go. Um, and we're setting our fuel at about 57 gallons now. That gives us, that should give us enough for a round trip. We need about 10 gallons 12 gallons or so give or take we're only doing about 80 nautical miles total trip time but we have to figure in taxi and then the return trip so we're, we're looking about 160 nautical miles that would put us at approximately 20 gallons given how much how little we need i'm taking about double of what we need uh, with a little extra so you know and that's just because the weather in case we have to divert or anything like that so hopefully all goes well but we shouldn't need much fuel at all we're not going very far um, and that's expecting uh, to us to operate at about 75% engine power. So uh, let's just see how everything works out. And uh, hopefully I haven't undercut us at all, but I don't think so. I think that should be way more than what we need. So the aircraft's fueled. We're loaded. Now it's time to go ahead and get her started. Um, let's go ahead and clear this. I'm going to pull the, uh, the yokes off just while we're getting her started and make sure we have everything set up. I've already set our barometric pressure according to live weather at the moment. So let's talk about uh, getting the aircraft started here. So let's look around here. We want to make sure the parking brake is set, which it is down here. Our landing gear handle needs to be down and locked. And as you can tell, obviously it's been a while since I have flown the Mooney, which is really a shame because she's a lot of fun to fly. Why am I not? Oh God, right in front of my face. Landing gear handle is down. I always expect everything to be down here, but actually I think up here makes more sense when you think about convenience. All right, magnetos are currently off. Rocker switches are all down and off. Master switch, let's go ahead and get it turned on. There's our master switch. Circuit breakers, probably should have checked those first. All in and closed. And we're looking for pedo heat switch. Yeah, we should actually probably go ahead and turn that on. Weather's getting pretty awful out there. Exterior lights, if I can remember where they are. Come on, baby. Oh, you little lady, it's been so long. It's panel lights, glare shield. Got our trim settings. Yeah, we're good on the master caution, I know. Relax, girl. Uh, yep, there they are. All right, so let's turn our nav lights on. Whoa, that was lightning. Our beacon light on. And recog light on. Don't need the landing or taxi light just yet. Vent. Let's get some air in here. Fuel selection. We're on left tank for engine start. Both tanks should be equally fueled at the moment, so we shouldn't have any issues there. Left fuel tank five, right fuel tank five gallons. We should be fine. All right, fuel quantity is checked. Oxygen, we're not going to be worrying about. We're only going to be flying at about 6,000 feet today. We need to make sure that uh, we only clear about 4,000 to clear any obstacles in today's flight based on the route that I've plotted for us. Um, we're going to be flying out of Tucson, heading obviously direct over to Ryan Field. 
from Ryan Field will be coming southeast and looking for the I-19 freeway. We'll be following it down to the city of Tubac, uh, just a little town south of uh, uh, Tucson and Green Valley there. Um, and then we'll be coming, uh, turning southeast to uh, head to Nogales. Um, so that should be everything it for our windows. Let's see, here are locked. I always forget to close this one, so I'm actually really impressed that it's actually shut at the moment. Truly, I am. <laughs> I always open it. And so now let's get into getting the engine started, and then we can get the rest of the startup procedure complete. Um, tow bar has already been removed. Baggage door is shut. Rocker switches are all set. Master switch. Let's go ahead and turn it off for engine start. Well, actually, we'll skip that part. Don't worry about that. Chocks and tie down have already been removed. Parking brake is set. We checked. Landing gear is set. Passengers are on board. Uh, passenger briefing has been completed because uh, it's me. <laughs> and uh, doors are locked and closed. So now let's go ahead and get this girl rolling. Now, the ELT switch that should be in the arm position by default. Yep, it is. Good. So emergency locator switch is already set. And now let's take a look at getting her started. So throttle is currently closed. Mixture should be at full and, or excuse me, propeller pitch. And mixture is in the idle cutoff position. Flaps are up. Oh, I just put them up. There we go. Sorry, went the wrong direction. And let's see here. Emergency gear switch is down. That's that red switch down over here. And, and internal lights are off. All right, so let's do this. Engine start. Throttle is full open. And uh, mixture is full rich. Alternator switch. Let's bring it down here. Is on. Beacon light is on, nav lights are on, enunciator lights. Uh, I don't remember where the test switch is. All right, well, we're going to skip that for now because I can't remember where it is. And like I said, we need to get rolling before this weather hits. Um, so we'll, we'll pretend that I found it, right? <laughs> All right. Low fuel boost pump switch needs to be on. Boost pump, push to on. Uh, where am I? Low fuel boost pump is on. Throttle back to idle. Propeller, propeller area is clear. Let's go ahead and actually pop the window down. Clear prop. Let's give her a start. Get our RPM up to about uh, 900. Went way too high. Had to recalibrate the throttle this morning, so I'm sort of wondering how everything's working here. Making sure the throttle is working. So, coming down to 900. Yeah, that's much better on the sensitivity. That's nice. All right, that'll work. All right, mixture is set. Don't turn the radio master on. I am going to try to get us some ATIS information. I have not had very good luck lately with... Uh... Hey, it's working! Yay! 279 at 24. A few clouds. Yeah, there's way more than a few clouds, buddy. Temperature 41. 2.10 altimeter 
829 or 85. I think that's actually what we have locked in. I think I might have found 29 or 86, but that's certainly close. All right, so we're using 29 or right for departure. Not a problem. Got what I needed there. All right, let's come down and set our transponder. We are flying VFR today, so let's just double check that everything is set accordingly. One, two, zero, zero. Let's turn that on. Can't remember if I have custom cameras set up. I do not. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and bring the taxi lights on. All right, we're ready to get out of here. Let's go ahead and do it. All right, so apparently I didn't hit record. So we are off and taxiing to runway 29 or right. It's gonna be at the far other end here. I really wish the live air traffic would be better. I have it set to real time online and just tell you right now there's more aircraft than this out at TIA. We're not the busiest airport by any means, but it's certainly not this quiet. That's just ridiculous. But is what it is. I'm not trying to be a pain in the ass. <laughs> Forgot how much I enjoy flying this aircraft. Oh, we got one coming in there. There you go. I can never tell if I'm really taxing that fast or if it's just because I'm used to flying the bigger planes. Where'd that plane go? Taxing like a darn tail dragger. I was hoping to see that airplane land. I'm not sure what happened to it. So, by the way, guys, for anyone interested, we will be uh, doing a, our first live stream. It will be tomorrow, Sunday, um, July the 11th at 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. It will be my first one. Uh, that guy's coming right at us. That's where he is. I can see him right there at the end of the runway. Dude, come on now. How did he get there that fast? I, I, I call BS. Absolutely call BS. But uh, anyway, so uh, we'll probably be going up in the TBM 930. I haven't uh, decided on a location yet. But again, the first ever live stream. You guys can find me on Twitch. That'll be 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. I will be posting a reminder on YouTube for anyone who's interested in uh, following the flight. Should be fun watching me be nervous as hell. You guys are going to watch me uh, probably stumble over my words and act like a fool for the first time because be my first time ever running a live production. He's Are you serious? He's going to come right at us. Yep. Come on, man. Why you got to be like this? All right. Well, we need to get out of this guy's way, so I'm thinking that we're just going to turn off and let's just hold here for now he's just going to sit there right whatever alright we'll just take it here not like we need a ton of runway for this aircraft especially on the large runway he was landing from that direction and somehow exited at Alpha. Like, come on, dude. Whoa, what was that bounce about? All right, so not the way I wanted to take the runway, obviously, but it is what it is. Okay, so let's talk about what we do need. We do need flaps one. Let's see here. 
Oh, yep, we got it. All right, good. We need our landing light set. Oh, come on, track IR, don't do this. There we go. Landing light set. Taxi lights can come off. Need our strobe light. Ah, oh, baby, come on, don't do this. There we go. Strobe lights on. Let's go ahead and get her out of here. Come on. We have a ton of runway to work with. Making sure nothing magically appeared there. Okay, we're gonna line up for just a quick second. Let's get rolling here. So, let's go to 2000 first. stable, at least the brakes. It's going to go full power. We're looking for about 60 knots for rotation. Come on, baby, come up. I'm going to say I promise, guys, I'm pulling up. We're going to look for 80 knots for our climb rate. Flaps up. We're going to go to 24 inches on the manifold pressure for a climb. Looking about 2,500 RPMs. We'll start coming left for Ryan Field. Initial altitude, we're going to hold at about 4,000. Now we should have done this earlier, that was my fault. Let's go ahead and switch to the fuller tank. I'm trying to avoid those mountain ranges, so we're gonna to try to cut through the shallower side of the fence here. Oh wow, I went way high. Busted my altitude and everything. Come down to about 75% power here. Make sure, we shouldn't have to pull off too much, but we'll just be looking for, actually looks like we're gonna run full mixture. Watching the exhaust temperature. Yeah, we're not high enough. Let's keep it as is.
about 25 inches on the manifold. That's Ryan Field right in front of us there. And start descending. Darn it, I just realized something else I forgot to do. Should have turned the boost pump off. Enter in the crosswind here. Oh, we're way too close here, but that's all right. Make it up for it when we uh, come on the downwind. We're going to maintain about 80 knots here, 80 to 90. Go ahead and go gear down at this point. Flaps 10. Whoa, too low, too low, too low. Should be at about 3,500 feet. So I'm a little low, a lot of low. Trying to make up that distance bubble, open that bubble back up.
All right, set us to flaps full. Turn that nose down. Bring us back down to about 75 knots. And let's turn base and final. Come on, baby, bleed some of that speed off. We got really fast, really. F <laughs> we got really fast, really fast. Come on, baby, kick over. Oof, mercy, she's struggling. Gosh, come on now. That was nasty. I was hoping landing in Nogales goes a lot better than that. That was awful. All right, let's bring us back over here. And pick up our first batch of uh, supplies here for our first stop. Let's exit the runway first. All right, as we exit to the runway, or exit the runway, let's turn our strobe lights off, our landing lights off. Let's turn the taxi light back on. Um, let's turn some cabin lights on. There we go, make things a bit easier. Let's get those flaps up. All right, we're cleaned up. Switch our tank back over. a bumpy bumpy taxiway this is an airport that I think needs some love All right, we'll pick up our supplies and then we will get out of here. All right, we're loaded up with our supplies. Let's get out of here. I can tell you right now the live weather isn't quite right still. We are getting pounded with a nasty storm right now. But that's all right. That's okay. Let's 
Let's taxi down to the end of the runway here. Make sure we get this takeoff correct this time. I just cannot find the sweet spot in this. Uh, Rudder pedal. Drifting like a maniac all the time. There's our run up spot. If we were going to use it, not going to worry about the run ups today. All right. Let's bring her over. Let's hold short here for a second. We're going to set flaps 10. Let's see, where's our strobe light? Let's get that back on. Taxi lights off, landing lights on. Set to the fullest tank. Let's get rolling here. Let's go to 2000. Stable, max power. Give her 60 knots. Rotating. Whoa, nasty. Oof, that was scary. Look for 80 knots on the climb. Oof, the wind is definitely there. Flaps up. Continuing 80 knots for climb. And we're gonna come left at about 135. Good climber, man. Start reducing our ascent rate. We're looking for only about 6,000 feet here. We'll go ahead and switch tanks.
Come on, baby. Come down. I feel like my trim switch isn't working. There it goes. Mercy. It's like I get nothing, 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 and then all of a sudden it's just crazy, like, strong. Come on, girl. Come down. All right. Let's come down to about 75% power. About 2,400 RPMs. Come right a little bit. Come a little bit off course here. About seventy five percent, and let's come back on the pitch. be a bumpy ride. It's going to be a lot of hands-on flying on this one. I didn't even think about that. We can turn our yokes back on. Isn't that it right there? Oh, right. Ah! Stop bouncing on me. Oh, see. Here we go. About 15 on the manifold pressure. That should be Tubac right there. Out in front of us there. And the I-19 freeway should be right there, cutting across the nose there. Look like our fuel estimate was right. I think we'll make it to Nogales. I don't think we're going to make it back on that. So my fuel plotting was way wrong. I did something. I did something I shouldn't have done. You know what I wonder if I did? Let me check something real quick. I set it to gallons instead of pounds. Well, no, but we're carrying 40 pounds of fuel. Hmm. I don't know. Darn it. Come on. I keep getting kicked. Kicked nose up. I keep trimming a little bit nose down, and then I'm all over the place. All right, so there's the freeway. Come on, baby. Keep your nose down. I'm sorry, that's not too bad. That should be closer to Green Valley. That's, that's what that is. That's Green Valley down there. I was just sitting here thinking, like, man, we got there fast. Like, that doesn't make sense. We're taking I-19 to two buck. All right. That makes more sense to me. All right. So let's go ahead and come right. Uh oh, what happened? What happened? What happened? Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Come on, baby. Okay, so, yeah. My fuel estimate was clearly wrong. 
That's a shame. I wish I knew what I did wrong there. I thought I calculated that correctly, but I guess not. That's a bummer. Oh, sorry guys, that was kind of embarrassing. Alright, we should be able to turn the boost pump off. Okay, now let's get my damn altitude back under control. Let's get back on course here. That sucked. Man. I know mistakes happen and we learn and it's only simulation, but that was one that I thought I had right. I mean, it seemed low, but I thought I was going by the right charts, and I don't have the charts pulled up anymore. I'd show you guys, and I should have saved the link, and I didn't. But uh, I clearly plotted something absolutely incorrectly. That's good to know that at uh, three gallons, though, <laughs> we lose the engines. Or engine, I should say. I'm going to get us back down to 6,000. Let's run the manifold pressure at about 18. And we'll take the RPM down to about 2,300 for cruise. There we go. That should be good. And we're at 6,200 feet, so I'll keep descending a little bit further. Gosh, I'm getting bounced all over the place, man. See, it's funny because you can see the lightning flashing, and it that's legit. Like we are outside my window right now. I'm getting my we're getting our butts whooped. Oh, never mind. Gosh, and I can't even read an altimeter. I'm at 5,400 feet. Oh, come on, Mike. Come on, Mike. Get your head in the game. Get your head in the game. That freaking losing the engine totally threw me through for a loop, man. Now I'm all discombobulated. Well, there's a, a minor example there of what the real world pilots go through, I guess. Alright, let's try this again. Now we're coming up on 6,000. Alright, so again, manifold pressure between 14 and 20. RPM down to about 2300 for cruise. Let's get the nose down for cruise flight. Let's get turned back towards the interstate here. Yeah, again, sorry about that, guys. Nothing like losing an engine. That threw me. Like literally, it gave me the willies. Like I got the, I got goosebumps when I heard the, boom, 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 boom. I'm like, uh oh, <laughs> that's not good. And then I saw the fuel flow down at zero, and I was like, ah oh, man. Let's go ahead and switch tanks. See, and I thought I had too much gas. I I'm really wondering... Is the fuel burn not correct for this? Um, hmm. I don't know. When I figure out what I did wrong, I'll, I'll post that in the next video, but I just don't know enough about what I did wrong yet. I just can't believe this thing needed. You know what? I actually think I did the opposite. I, I just realized what I did. I configured for pounds instead of gallons. I looked at this number instead of this number. It's the only thing I can think of that I did. I didn't plot for for gallons, but that's and I think the chart that I was looking at was referring to gallons, which would make sense because I mean I, I would assume that's how we that's how we purchase it, just like anywhere else. I don't think you worry about pounds until you're you're talking commercial flight. I would imagine that's pretty. It's like ooh, shiny. <laughs> go. 
Gosh, I just keep, I keep tapping that trim button, man. I really don't think my trim switch is working because it's only when I hold it and then I get way too much trim. I'm going to spend the whole flight trimming the aircraft. All right, we should be just over two buck. There it is. Okay. I'm sitting there looking at the mountain ranges. I'm like, mm, we're missing something. All right, so at this point, we should be turning to about... What did I plot? One, four, six degrees, and I'm climbing. So we should be going just through, just to the right of those mountains there. I think we're going to go around it, so I think my plot has me going right through them. I don't want to go between the mountains in this wind. I'm already going to get a bit closer than I want to. Like I'm getting, getting bounced around pretty good. I'm actually rather impressed with uh, the way the in environmentals are are hitting the aircraft. I f it would probably be more violent, honestly, based on what's happening around me outside the window, but still pretty good. I'm, I'm having fun flying it. The Mooney's such a cool plane anyway, it really is. I enjoy the Mooney. It's one of those airplanes that you forget how much you like flying it until you get back in it. Ah, oh, come on, man. Jesus. And yes, I know that there's autopilot functionality. I, I'm not using it on purpose. I wanted to fly. Wanted to fly it. Although we got a nice cruise speed going. Look at that. Where are we at? 140 knots? That's not bad. Getting a little high again. So I'm bring it down slowly. I'm watching our airspeed while we descend. I don't want to overspeed the aircraft. I think 190 knots, I think, is uh, max max rated for this aircraft. about five minutes right oh wrong one jeez <laughs> I'm just destined to kill the engine in this thing man <laughs> stupid mouse <laughs> ah, yeah and yes that one I'm blaming on the mouse all I did was flick the wheel man and apparently flicked it too far I feel like we shouldn't be at... Let's see, can we pull some of this back? Nope, it's getting hotter. I'm trying to melt the heads off it. I guess that's the advantage of flying so low. The only way I don't like to go up real high in, in the GA aircraft is it just... You miss it. This is what's fun about Microsoft Flight Simulator for me is that we get to do this. All right, but so Nogales is at about four thousand feet, so we do need to come down to about fifty-five hundred. Just set the barometric pressure for out here. 6,400. So according to this, we need to come down about a thousand feet if the barometric is correct out here. Right after these mountains, we should be turning. What did I plot? 104 degrees, 105 degrees, somewhere around there. So let's go ahead and start coming left, and we're going to need to descend. So let's set our manifold pressure down to about 10. And RPM will still hold about 2300. Now we look 
in here. Yeah, now it's getting nasty. This is why I didn't want to go through those. Uh, That's why I didn't want to go through those um, mountains. I had a feeling it was going to get nasty in here. Whoa, come on. Settle down now. Settle down, settle down. Let's keep going. Got about another 500 feet to lose. Should be able to see it soon. About 11 o'clock there. Our airspeed at about 110. Not seeing our airport, and I feel like we should be. Maintain level flight for now. Can always circle to come back around, right? Oh, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Is that it right there? That is it right there. It's right in front of us. All right, let's go ahead and come right. Go ahead and maintain this altitude. I said maintain this altitude. Gosh, come on, baby. Man, that's hard to see, isn't it? What's that approach from the back going to look like? That's going to be interesting with that mountain there, that little hilltop on the other end. We have wind direction here. Ah, come on, baby. Looks like we're going to have crosswind no matter which way we go. nasty one at that. Alright, there's our 5,500 feet. Alright, we want to be between 90 and 100 knots here, so let's pull some power off. Let's drop the gear first. Should give us what we need to slow her down a bit. Come down to about 5,000 now. We're going to go flaps two. Come on, baby. Hold your altitude. Hold your altitude. We're not going to do this again. That's 
it. That's it. All right, coming in for our final here on the downwind. I feel like I'm a little close to the runway, but man, I'm getting blown like crazy. I'm really having to, to fight it. Oh, come on, you got to stop doing this to me. All right, so let's go ahead and go full flaps. Still looking for 90, 80 to 90 knots. Come on, honey. Come on, stop descending on me. Stop descending, it's not time yet. Mixture's at max. A little bit of a space shuttle approach again. I got afraid of that descent rate. Oh my gosh, this is going to be a brutal landing, guys. Come on. Yeah, I'll take that one. Whew, much better. So, space shuttle approach, but I'll take it. I'll still take it. We'll just taxi down to the end. Flaps coming up. Hold her here for a second. I wonder why the lights up there don't. Do we not get overhead panel lights on these? I feel like we should have. Um, but let me see if I can see what the heck I'm doing here. All right. So you want taxi lights on, landing lights off, strobe light off. All right. Let's uh, let's get out of here. Let's get over to parking. Thank all of you who uh, stayed with me today. Don't forget, 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, tomorrow, Sunday the 11th, uh, we'll be doing our first live stream on the channel. Link to the uh, Twitch will be down in the description. Uh, 
right? It should be the first line today. And little nervous about it. Actually, I'm a lot of nervous about it. I'm going to call it as I as it is. But uh, right, here's our transport. All right. Let's set the parking brake here. Parking brake is set. Make sure to cut off, throttle closed. Just move that. Magneto's off. Master caution cleared. Transponder off. Radio master off. Ah, oh, come on, I hate it when you do this. Get away from me. And let's see here. Pedo heat off. so hard to see up there. I know I'm missing a light. I've got to be missing a light up there. Taxi lights off. Oh, something else is still on. Nope, landing lights off. Ah, recog lights. Gotcha. Alright, and finally, alternator off, master off. And uh, let's get some doors open here. Ah, uh, why can't you open the door? Oh, duh. Oh, no, I'm right. Interesting. All right, well, it's, oh, doesn't have one, duh. I'm an idiot. Baggage door open, everything like that. Static elements. Nope, no external power. But tow bar. All right. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed that flight. I know it had some interesting moments in it. Um, that was actually very challenging for me. I'll be flying this again. Clearly, I need to get back into some of the general aviation aircraft. Um, like I said, that, that was that was a lot on the lot on the brutal side. Um, but I had a really good time flying it, and I highly recommend that if you guys haven't yet, fly your aircraft in some uh, rougher weather. It definitely gets challenging and more enjoyable. So. As always, guys, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button again. Be sure to meet me tomorrow on the stream. We'll be able to chat live. Um, Twitch link down in the description below. 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, Sunday, July the 11th. I will see you guys tomorrow.